Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a simple to-do application from scratch using Svelte as front-end, .NET Core Web API as back-end, and Microsoft SQL Server as the database. Here is a demo of the web application. We will first install all the prerequisites. Then we will create the database and objects required for our app. Next we will create the backend project using .NET Core Web API. And finally we will start creating the Svelte project. Let us now install Node.js. First let us download the installer file. Let's install. Let's verify the installation by checking the node and npm version. We have successfully installed Node.js. Let's install SQL Server Management Studio which we will be using to create database objects in SQL Server. SSMS is installed successfully. Let's install Visual Studio which we will be using to develop the app which is needed for this project. We will be installing the community version which is free for learning purposes. Let us run the installer file. Let me choose ASP.NET and .NET Desktop Development. Let me put a shortcut in the desktop. We can skip the sign in and choose a theme. Visual Studio is now ready to be used. Let's install Visual Studio code. I have a Windows 64-bit system, so we'll download accordingly. Let's install it. Visual Studio Code is now installed successfully.
Let us now set up an SQL Server database using Azure. Let's log in to Azure Portal. Please note that you need to have a valid subscription to create resources in Azure. Now let's create the SQL database. Let's create a new resource group. Next, we need to enter the database and server names. Next, we need to add credentials for login. Let's choose development version as it costs less. And also reduce the data max size. Let's choose public endpoint since I do not have any private network. And let's keep others as default. The database server is now ready. We can use it in our app with the help of connection strings. Let's connect to the database using the SQL Server Management Studio. Looks like we need to provide access to our IP address. Let's add it in the Azure portal.
Now let's connect. Let's add the table required for our app to store the notes details. It will have two fields. One is an auto-generated ID and another one to store the notes description. Let's add some records into it. Our database table is now ready to be used. Let's start creating the API project. Open Visual Studio. Let's choose ASP.NET Core Web API. We don't need HTTPS. Now we need to add a couple of changes to the project. Open program.cs file. We need to add JSON serializer as default. So let's install Newtonsoft JSON package. Looks like the latest version is not compatible. Let's use the older version. Now let's configure this in program.cs file. Next, we need to enable cores so that we can consume the services from the front-end project. Generally, this is not recommended in production. You should only whitelist the servers accordingly. Now let's add a controller to add our API methods.
we need to first add SQL Server Connection Settings in App Setting JSON file. Let's get the SQL Connection Strings from Azure Portal. Now let's write the method to get all the notes data. Let's write the select query to get the data. We need to get the connection details. We can make use of dependency injection to access connection details. Let's complete our get notes method. Once data is available in data table, we will return this as JSON result. Let's test if this works. We see that it works. Now let's complete the add and delete notes methods as well.
Let's test if they work as expected. We see that we are able to add new notes. Let's check the delete method. Delete method also works. Our API project is now ready. We need to install an NPM package called Digit which will help us download the Svelte starter project from GitHub. We need to also install Git in order to download the starter project from GitHub. Let us now create the Svelte project. Open up the command prompt and type this command. npx digit svelte js slash template and the name of our project. Let's navigate inside and open the project with Visual Studio Code. Without changing anything, let's simply run the project and see how it looks. Before that, we need to run the npm install command to install the missing modules. Now to run the project just type npm run dev. Copy the URL and open in the browser. We see a default template provide with this project. Let's remove everything and just put a header tag. Let's have the value of header tag from a variable. Let's check if this looks fine. We can see the header as expected. Now let's add the method and HTML to display our notes data. Let's have a variable to store our API URL. Let's have an array variable to store the notes data coming from the API. Now let's write the function to refresh the notes array variable. We will make use of the fetch method to call our get notes API method. Once response is received, we will update the notes array variable. Now let's add the HTML to display the notes data. We will use the each attribute and loop through notes array. and display the notes description. We have a lifecycle method called on mount which gets executed on page load.
Let's call our refresh list method here. Let's check if this looks fine. We see the notes data as expected. Now let's add the methods to add and delete the notes. Let's first add a text box to capture new notes. Let's create a variable to store the new notes. Now let's add a button to call the add notes method. Let's also add a button to delete the notes. We need to pass the ID of the notes to be deleted. Now let's complete the add notes method. We need to create the form data to post the new notes to our API method. Once added, we will display the response and call the refresh list method. Let's also implement the delete notes method. We shall pass the ID of the notes to be deleted in the query string. Let us now test if everything works as expected. Let's add a new notes. This works. Let's try to delete the notes. Delete also works as expected. Our to-do app is now completed. 